Austin Martin and Nick Bates. And on the stop for the Warriors, gain of one yard on the carry, second and nine for Clinton. Second down and nine now for the Maroons. Only got one yard on that play. Carter, the quarterback, in the shotgun. He gives it to Luck. He finds a little room up the middle, but then a nice bit of tackling there by the Warrior defense. Looked like he had a hole there, but they are able to bring him down. That's number 51 there by the Warriors on the tackle. That's Nick Henderson on the play. That'll bring up a third down and eight for Clinton. They try to extend their first drive of the game and not get the ball back to the Warriors. If they have to punt here, Cuscula could get pretty good field position. Carter again in the shotgun awaiting the snap. Looking back now, dropping back to throw. He looks to the outside, and it looks like it's caught there by Deontay Johnson. That is a first down. Got about nine yards on the play. A nice connection between Carter and Johnson. Sets up a first down for the Maroons at the 37-yard line. So first and 10 from the Maroons. 9.25 left to go in the first quarter here. Ball at the 36-yard line. Carter, back in the shotgun, gives it to Luck. He's looking to the outside. He avoids some tacklers and plows forward for about six or seven yards. A nice carry there as he was able to scoot to the outside and made a nice move to pick up about seven yards on the play. So second down and about three for Clinton. The quarterback again in the shotgun. Caleb Luck in the backfield. He fakes it to Luck, and he handed it off to Jacob Overton, but Tuscola was ready for that play, and they shut it down. And they lose about four yards on that play. That'll make it second down, or third down, I'm sorry, third down and nine. Actually make it about third down and ten. Clinton basically lost the yards they just gained before on the carry by Luck. So Carter looking for the play in the shotgun formation. Luck again in the backfield. Tuscola nearly jumped off, but they were able to get back. Carter rolling out to the outside, looking to throw. Now he's going to run with it, and he's going to be run out of bounds about the 41, 42-yard line. That's going to be short of the first down. It's going to bring up about a fourth down and five for the Maroons. So they're probably going to punt the ball away here back to the Warriors. But a good job by Clinton to at least move the ball a little bit so that they can improve the field position here. Caleb Luck back to punt for the Maroons. Back deep to receive for the Warriors is number 87. That's Josh Knight. Spoke about Knight a little bit before the game. He's the leading receiver for the Warriors. He's got 101 yards receiving and a touchdown so far on the season. A timeout by the Maroons here is maybe a little confusion about on the punt. So with 8 minutes and 13 seconds left to go here in the first quarter, I'm Chris Foster. You're watching this live on hssportslive.net. We'll be back in one minute. Welcome back to Tuscola. Clinton getting ready to pump the ball here. Fourth down and five on their own 42. Caleb Luck kicks it straight up in the air. It's going forward. Watch for the scary bounce there. Could, Tuscola needs to get out of the way so that it doesn't hit off them. But looks like it's downed by the Maroons by number seven there for the Maroons. That's Deontay Johnson. He downs the ball. Tuscola is going to have pretty good field position as they're going to be on the 40-yard line, their own 40-yard line, but pretty good field position for the Warriors. They were unable to put much together on their first drive. Clinton was able to get one first down, just like Tuscola did on their first drive. They Both teams got one first down, but then they were stopped. 
So now with eight minutes left to go here in the first quarter, Tuscola with their second position, and it's Bates running up the middle again. It's going to get two, maybe three yards. That was the big game play on their first drive of the game as Bates ran up the middle for about 20 yards. Other than that, they were unable to get anything going with some passes to the outside. So second and seven for the Maroons now. Bates with 23 yards rushing on two carries so far tonight. Back to pass now this time is Bates. He's looking down the field. He's got some time. He's throwing deep, looking for 87, unable to connect. Had plenty of time to throw, but unable to find a receiver. Josh Knight he was looking for there. Pretty good coverage by the Maroons. It would have had to have been a pretty good pass there by the Warriors for it to be completed. So that will bring up a third down and seven now. It's the second shot that Tuscola has taken downfield already in this game, so it looks like they're trying to take some shots downfield early here in this game to try to get some points up on the board. Nick Bates again in shotgun for the Warriors, awaiting the snap. He's got the snap now, pitches it to the outside. He's got some room to run. He's going to be brought down. It's going to be close to the first down. Cole Evans on the carry. That was a third down and seven. He gets across midfield to about the 49-yard line. He picked up about eight yards, so just enough for the first down. Cole Evans with an eight-yard carry. It's first down and 10 for the Warriors now. They run it to the outside here. He's brought down, and that's number, I think, 15 on the carry. Austin Martin there on that carry. Not able to gain any ground, though. So second down and 10 for the Warriors. They run a fast-paced offense here, a lot of short passes, a little bit of no-huddle action going on there on that play. Bates brings him to the line of scrimmage again. He's in the shotgun. Fakes the give and pitches it to the outside. He's coming around. He makes a move. A nice carry there by the wide receiver, Josh Knight. For Tristan Williams, I'm sorry. Sorry for the wrong call there. It's Tristan Williams on the carry. Picks up about 10 yards on the play. Another Tuscola first down. They're starting to put a drive together here. About midway through the first quarter. Bates in the shotgun, receives a snap, rolling out a little bit, looking to the outside, looking for Williams again on that one. Unable to connect, though. Tuscola, we know they're a passing team. They're trying to hit the passing game really aggressively here early in the game, but they've been unable to connect so far. Said Nick Bates, the second leading passer in the area, came into this game with 385 yards passing on the season and three touchdowns. Second down and 10 now on the 37-yard line. Bates in the shotgun. Snap, fakes the give, goes to the outside, pitches it now, and it's going to be a nice run there by Cole Evans. It's going to maybe have the first down or be a yard short. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short, about nine yards on the carry by Evans. So it'll bring up. Get the, yep, get the exact mark there. Third down and a, a long one here for the Warriors. Bates in the shotgun now. Six minutes left to go here in the first quarter. He gives it to Evans, and he looks like he m probably got the first down. We'll have to see the spot. Waiting the spot here, and it is the first down for the Warriors. So that was Zach Bates picking up the one yard. Maybe two yards on the carry. Picks up the third down and one. So Tuscola will have first and ten now on the 27-yard line. Fakes the give, does Nick Bates, and he's brought down by the, by the Maroons. Great job by Clinton. The defense was ready for that play. And on that was Austin Gregory of the Maroons. So that'll make it second down and 14 now as a loss of four yards on that play. Bates has been in the shotgun the whole game. He faked the handoff there and tried to get to the outside, but the Maroons' defense was ready and got good penetration on the defensive side of the ball. Bates back in shotgun, fakes the give again. Maroons with more pressure, and he's brought down. He's sacked again by the Maroons. Number 10 on the sack, that's John Shoby. 
He's a 5'10", 160-pound sophomore. He got in there and was able to bring down Bates. That'll make it third down and 19 now for the Maroons. I mean, for the Warriors, I'm sorry. A great job on the last two plays by the Clinton defense. So now third and 19, Bates in the shotgun, man in motion to the outside. Bates rolling out to the outside. He's throwing, he finds a man open, makes a move, breaks some more tackles, and it looks like he's going to get a first down. A huge play by the Warriors, a third down and 19. But Josh Knight on the reception. All the way down to the 10-yard line, so looks like about a 30-yard reception by Josh Knight. It's the first completion of the night, I believe, for the Warriors. Now they're in business here. First and goal at the 10. Bates slips. They're trying to slip to the outside with the halfback, Tristan Williams, but Clinton did a good job on defense of shutting down the outside lane. So now second down and goal from about the six or seven. They got it about three yards on that play. Bates under center now that they're inside the 10. Rolls to the outside. He's going to throw, and it's caught. Touchdown for the Warriors. Looks like number 83, Zach Bates, with the catch. He's a 5'11", 160-pound junior. So the big third down and long conversion turns into seven, six points for the Warriors. And they've been the first one to get on the board here in Tuscola. They lead 6 to nothing now with 3.56 left to go in the first quarter. And now they're attempting the extra point. Evan Sutton lining up for the kick. It is up and it is good. Sutton, a 5'8", 150-pound sophomore, puts it through. And it's 7 to nothing Tuscola with 3.56 left to go here in the first quarter. We're going to take a quick break here on hssportslive.net. All right, we are back here in Tuscola now. Tuscola getting ready to kick off to the Maroons after scoring their first touchdown of the game. They lead 7 to nothing. A touchdown pass between Nick Bates and Zach Bates. Capped off the drive for the Warriors, a 60-yard drive. Sutton with the kick now. It's going to be caught about the 15-yard line by the Maroons, and he's going to try to get a return put together. He gets to the outside to about the 35 Deontay Johnson with about a 20-yard return for the Maroons. And they'll have decent starting position as they'll start this drive about the 34, 35-yard line. Looks like the 35-yard line. So Bo Carter brings the offense back out on the field for the Maroons. Offense led by Bo Carter and then the running back Caleb Luck. The big play for Tuscola on the previous drive was the third down and 19 yard. Third down and 19 that they got. Bates connected on his first pass of the game with Josh Knight on a 30 yard reception and that really set him up to go in for the score. Carter now in the shotgun, receives the snap, looking to throw, he's looking deep, he's got a man open, but he just overthrew him. That was Johnson again, he's been looking for Johnson a lot so far early tonight. Just a little bit more air underneath that and that would have possibly been six points for the Maroons. They took a good shot at it, just overthrew it a little bit. So now second down and 10 for the Maroons. Still at the 35. Again, we are here in Tuscola, hssportslive.net, live for our third week of the Illinois high school football season. Carter in the shotgun, waiting the snap. 
Looks like possibly some movement by the Maroons. We'll have to wait for the signal by the officials. Yep, false start by the Maroons. So that's going to make it third down and 15 now. Or second down and 15, I'm sorry. It's going to make it a little bit harder for them to convert a first down on this series, losing the five yards. So Carter leads them out of the huddle. 3.45 left to go here in the first quarter here in Tuscola. Carter again in the shotgun formation. He gets the snap. He gives it to Luck. Breaks the tackle, but then he gets leg tackled by Tuscola. Unable to break the second one. He maybe gains one or two. It's like he was brought down there by Tuscola's Cole Evans. So third down and 15 still. No gain on the play. So third down and long. We'll see if the Maroons can do what the Warriors did. Tuscola had a third and 19, and they were able to convert. We'll see if Clinton can do the same here. Carter in the shotgun. Three wide receivers to the far side of the field. He fakes it to Luck. Some pressure by the Warriors. Carter able to get out from it. Now he's looking to run. Makes a nice move and barrels forward. Oh, he's hit hard. Picks up about five yards on the play. Some good scrambling by Carter, but he had 15, 16 yards to gain. So looks like Clinton's going to have to punt on this play. Going to be on their own 33-yard line, fourth down and 12. Tristan Williams back deep for Tuscola to receive the punt. As we are under three minutes now here in the first quarter, Tuscola leading 7-0. A high snap, but he's able to field it. A good-looking punt by Luck. A lot of hang time. Williams with the catch. He's looking for some running room to the far side of the field, and he's brought down on the outside by the Maroons. That's number 54 on the tackle, Trevor Stevens. Tuscola will start about the 41-yard line, pretty much the same spot they started their last drive. It's a pretty good field position again, but a nice putt by Luck. Was able to get his foot into that one and got some good hang time on that, but a decent return by Tuscola, sets him up about the 41 yard line. Again, both these teams one and one on the season. Clinton coming off a victory over Warrensburg last week. Tuscola fell to the Unity Rockets last week. Bates with the give up the middle and he's brought down. Cole Evans the carry there. He's able to pick up about three yards on the play. It's 20 yards rushing for Evans now on three carries. Bates in the shotgun again. He threw for 250 yards last week in the loss to Tolono Unity. Got a flag down. We'll see if we have movement by the Warriors. No, it looks like it's going to be on the Maroons. Encroachment. So they're saying that they're the ones that made the Warriors move. They made Tuscola jump offside, so that's going to make it second down and two instead of second down and seven. And the ball just short of midfield now at the 49-yard line. Bates in the shotgun, receives the snap, looking to throw to the outside. Some good pressure again by Clinton. He does make the connection, though. Breaks a couple tackles. I believe that might be Tristan Williams. It is Tristan Williams on the outside. He picks up about five yards on the play, and that's going to be first down and ten for the Warriors. First down for them. Bates in the shotgun awaiting the snap. He's back to throw. Clinton getting a little bit of pressure. They got their hands on him, couldn't bring him down, and now Bates is open and running down the field. He's got some room to run. He's at the 30, the 25. He stumbles, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 20-yard line. A great job of scrambling by Bates. Finally knocked out of bounds by Mason Dial of the Maroons. Bates 25 yards on the scramble. Great pressure by the Maroons defenses. They've getting pretty good, been getting pretty good pressure all night. But Bates was able to escape the pressure, pick up 25 yards on the run, and now Tuscola's in business again here as they're inside the red zone for the second time in the first quarter. Bates with the give to the wide receiver coming across the side. 
He's brought down. That's number 15, Austin Martin. Clinton did a pretty good job of defending that, though. Got maybe a yard or two. It's like second down and nine now for the Warriors. Clinton defense trying to make a stand here. They don't want to get down by two scores here early in the ball game. Nick Bates receives a snap. Hands it up the middle to Zach Bates, and he is stacked up, and I think the ball might have came out. The ball might have came out. And the Maroons recovered it. They recovered it. They met Zach Bates right at the line of scrimmage. They stacked him up, stripped the ball, and recovered it. A huge play by the Clinton defense. Great job by the Maroons, and they will take over at the 21-yard line as they turn the Warriors away here as they were looking to go in for their second score of the quarter. But now with 15 seconds left in the first quarter, it's the Clinton offense back on the field looking to see if they can put a drive together to tie this ball game up. So in the shotgun again is the quarterback, Bo Carter. New man in the backfield there for the Maroons. The give is to him. I'm sorry. The running back is there, gets through the middle. That's number six for the Maroons, Mason Dial. He's the one who just made the tackle on Nick Bates on his scramble, sh shoved him out of bounds, able to stop him from going the distance. And that was a huge play as they were able to force a fumble and stop the drive. So as we end the first quarter here in Tuscola, it's Tuscola 7, Clinton 0. We'll be right back in a sh after this short break on hssportslive.net. Welcome back to Tuscola as we're getting ready to start the second quarter here. Clinton with the pitch to the outside to Austin Dial. A nice move. Some good blocking there on the outside. Nice looking run there by Dial. Maybe picked up about five or six yards on that. Mason Dial there on the carry. That'll be third down and four now for Clinton. Been seeing mainly Caleb Luck out of the backfield, but on this drive, they've gone to Mason Dial for two consecutive carries. A little bit different style running. Caleb has the kind of the power running. Mason is the kind of shiftier, speedier back that goes for the outside. Quarterback receives a snap, looks for a quick pass to the outside. It's going to be incomplete. Bo Carter was looking to the outside to Deonta Johnson, but he overthrew him a little bit too high. And so they're going to be forced to punt here. But nonetheless, the Maroons dodged a bullet there as Tuscola was looking to drive in for another score, and they were able to force the fumble from, of Zach Bates. So now they're lined up to punt here, unable to get their first down. Caleb Luck back to punt for the Maroons. Kick is up. Pretty good hang time again. Tuscola catches it. Kind of a dangerous area to catch the ball there for the Warriors. I thought they might just let that one bounce, but number 87, Josh Knight, able to come up and make almost like a shoestring catch, able to secure it. 40, so they'll start right about midfield, about the 48-yard line, first down and 10 for Tuscola there, looking to put up their second score of the ball game. They lead 7 to nothing. 
with 11.08 left to go here in the first half. Again, I'd like to thank my cameramen, Rob Woods and Taylor Dorsey, alternating quarters for me tonight. So we got Taylor Dorsey on the camera now here in the second quarter. Man in motion for the Warriors. Bates awaiting the snap, looking to throw to the outside. He's got a man open, and he misses him. So he was looking for Austin Martin coming across the middle, but he just threw it a little bit too high and for Martin able to bring it down. So second down and 10 now for Tuscola. Leading seven to nothing over the Maroons. Thank you again for joining us here on hssportslive.net. Again, I am Chris Foster. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast here on the new website. Bates back in the shotgun looking to throw. He had more pressure yet again by the Maroons, and he was looking there for Tristan Williams, but he overthrew him. Clinton's been getting good pressure on the quarterback here tonight, and with Tuscola being a passing team, that's going to be a big key for the Maroons. Like Austin Gregory was in there causing a little havoc there for the Maroons. So now a third down and 10 for the Warriors. A big third down play here. Bates in the shotgun, man in motion is Williams to the outside. Bates is looking, rolling out to the outside. He's gonna throw and it's too high again. This time too high for Tyler Hale. So Bates is just a, unable to make some connections here in this game. He had the big completion to uh, Josh Knight for the 30 yard gain that set up their first touchdown. But a lot of high passes here early on for Tuscola quarterback Nick Bates. So fourth and 10 now for the Warriors. Back to punt for Tuscola is Austin Martin. Way in the snap, Martin now gets the punt up. It's a low line drive kick. Back to get it from the Maroons. He has trouble picking it up and he bobbles it, but I believe it was knocked out of bounds by the Warriors, so Clinton will maintain possession. That was Tyler Vidmar trying to corral that ball, but he was unable to bring it in. But Tuscola, I believe, knocked the ball out of bounds. So Clinton will take over at their own 18-yard line here, trailing 7 to nothing with 10.48 left to go here in the first half. Again, thank you for joining us. For Clinton versus Tuscola here, week three of the Illinois high school football season. Next week, we will be in Tolono for the big Maroa Forsyth Tolono Unity Ball game. Should be a big showdown. Both teams win this week. They will both be ranked number one in their respective classes. Quarterback receives a snap, gives it up the middle. I believe that's Luck back in the ball game. That's Caleb Luck up the middle. Picked up maybe two or three yards on the play. So it'll bring up second down and eight. Luck trying to loosen up the middle of that Tuscola defense. So far he's had four carries and has only been able to get about 11 yards. But the more they pound it, the more they weaken that defensive line of the Warriors. Quarterback Bo Carter waiting the play. Looks like they're gonna call a timeout as they're having some trouble getting the play in. So a timeout by the Clinton Maroons, trailing seven to nothing here in Tuscola. We're gonna take a quick break here on hssportslive.net. Welcome back to Tuscola. You can see we've got 10 minutes and 10 seconds left to go here in the first half. Clinton has a second down and eight on their own 20 yard line. They just called their second time out of the half. Tuscola defense is on the field and we're ready to go. Bo Carter, 
quarterback for the Maroons is in the shotgun. He receives the snap. He's looking to throw. He throws over the middle, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Zach Bates of the Warriors, and I believe he's going to get in for the touchdown. Zach Bates with the interception, and he returns it for a touchdown for the Warriors. Zach Bates has been a busy Busy man here early on for the Warriors as he caught their first touchdown of the game. Then he fumbled the ball on the drive where they were trying to score their second touchdown. But then he turns right around and intercepts the pass and runs it in for a touchdown here for the Warriors. About a 20-yard or 25-yard interception return. Carter was looking over the middle, but Bates stepped in front of the receiver and was able to pick it off and run it in for the score. Now the extra point is up, and it is good by Sutton and we have a 14 to nothing score here in Tuscola as a quick strike by the Warrior defense changes the tempo of this game we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back here on hssportslive.net Back here in Tuscola now, a big interception by Zach Bates sets up another sc score for the Warriors, and now they're kicking back off to the Maroons. Trouble with the kickoff. They're able to pick it up and recover it, but they're not. But Tuscola brings them down, so it's not going to be a very good field position again for the Maroons. So Zach Bates intercepted the pass from the Maroons and ran it back about 25 yards for the touchdown. He's got both scores for Tuscola tonight as he caught a touchdown pass from about the eight-yard line. And then he intercepted that one and ran it back for the score. So it's 14 to nothing Tuscola. 9.57 left to go here in the second quarter. Clinton's going to try to shake off that possession as Bo Carter brings the offense back out on the field. Clinton trying to get something going here in the first half. Both teams one and one coming into this ball game. Carter in the shotgun receives the snap, gives it up the middle to Luck, but he's going to be stacked up at the line of scrimmage by a horde of Tuscola Warrior defenders. And it looks like he might have lost a yard on the carry. Lost three is what they determined after the spot. So it's second down and 13 for the Maroons. So clock ticking under 10 minutes now. Carter again in the shotgun with Caleb Luck in the backfield. He throws it to the outside and it is caught by the Maroons. A nice shifty move by the wide receiver. A late flag comes in. We'll see if it was a hold or a block in the back or we'll see what the referees come up with here. Jacob Overton with the reception there from the Maroons. A nice quick pass to the outside by Clinton. We'll see if the play stands. It appears that they picked up the flag. I don't see any flag on the field any, any longer. I don't see the referees making any calls. So it's going to be third down and seven for the Maroons now. So they're trying to convert a first down here on this drive. Under eight minutes left, to, under nine minutes left to go here in the first half. Looked like Clinton might have moved. We'll see if the Warriors made him jump. Wait for the referees to signal. It is a legal procedure on the Maroons. So that's third down and 12 now. That's the second illegal procedure penalty of the game against the Maroons. Third down and 12. Quarterback Bo Carter in the shotgun awaiting the snap. 
Gets a snap. He's rolling out to the outside, looking to throw. He throws, and it's caught on the outside by Deonta Johnson. But I'm not sure if he has enough for the first down. And I also saw a late flag come in. We'll wait for the referees to sort this one out. We'll see what the call is. It was a third and 12 play as he completed the pass to the outside to Deonta Johnson. Don't think he got enough for the first down. The referee's trying to figure out the flag. Looks like an illegal man downfield by the Maroons. But Tuscola's going to decline it because it doesn't look like they got enough for the first down. So that's going to make it fourth down for the Maroons. And they're going to send the punting unit back out on the field. Tuscola sends two men back deep to receive the punt. It's number four, Tristan Williams, and number 87, Josh Knight, back to receive the punt. Caleb Buck into punt for the Maroons. So it looks like it. they picked up about 10 yards on the play as it's fourth and two. There's the punt by Luck. Decent punt brought in by the Warriors, and he's going to be brought down immediately. Great job there by the Maroon special teams. Josh Knight caught it, and he was brought down immediately on the play by number four, 44, I'm sorry, Colin Underwood. So a good job by the Maroon special teams, but still pretty good field position for the Warriors as it seems they've been starting about the 40-yard line here most of the night. So they'll start first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Eight minutes and nine seconds left to go here in the first half. Tescola leading 14 to nothing. Bates fumbles the ball, and he's able to pick it back up. So he was trying to hand it to number four, Tristan Williams, coming across, and he lost the handle of it, but he was able to fall on it. Loss of about three or four yards on the play. That'll make it second down and 13 for the Warriors. Bates again in the shotgun, awaiting the snap. Looking to the throw to the outside. He throws the outside and completes it. Breaks the tackle as it looked like Clinton had him under wraps, but number 15 for the Warriors, Austin Martin, is able to break the tackle. And he picks up about seven yards on the play. That makes it third down and nine for the Warriors. Third down and nine, Bates in the shotgun. Tuscola trying to convert. Clinton trying to get their offense back in the field, back on the field, trailing 14 to nothing. Bates strolls to the outside, eludes a couple of rushers, and he's brought down about the 45. I see two flags on the field. I, I see it could have a holding penalty, but we also could have a possibly, I'm thinking maybe an illegal hit on the Maroons. I'm not sure. Saw some helmet to helmet contact at the end of the play. We'll see what the referees do here. Like a holding penalty on the Warriors and then a face mask on the Maroons. So that's going to be offsetting penalties. So I believe that they'll replay the down now. Offsetting penalties on both teams. So we'll redo it again. It's like a timeout by the Warriors. We're just under seven minutes here in Tuscola on homecoming. Tuscola leads the Clinton Maroons 14 to nothing. We'll be back in a 30 seconds. We are back in Tuscola, 6.58 left to go here in the first half. Tuscola on top of the Clinton Maroons, 14 to nothing. 
Third down and nine for the Warriors. Nick Bates in the shotgun. He gets a snap. There's a rusher coming on the outside for the Maroons, and he brings them down. Great rush on the outside by number one, Lucas Kraft. He showed a lot of speed off that outside edge. He burst right by that offensive tackle of the Warriors, and he had him in his sights and brought him down. That's one thing that, that has been a positive for the Maroons tonight is they've got a lot of pressure on the Tuscola quarterback. Got some sacks, forced some scrambles. Now they forced a punt here to get their offense back on the field. Snap is over the head of the punter. He picks it up and now he's running with it. A block, he picks up one block and now he's brought down. I see a couple of flags come in. Snapped over the punter's head, number 15, Austin Martin. Ran back, got the ball. Was able to run forward with it a little bit. A couple of flags on the play. Looks like an illegal block on the play by the Warriors, and that's obviously going to be declined. So a huge play for the Clinton Maroons. They're going to have it first and 10 at the 20-yard line. So a huge play right there. The snapper snapped it over the punter's head, and now Clinton's set up to put some points on the board and get back in this ball game. So Bo Carter brings the offense back out on the field. Let's go, Bo! Come on, guys! Bo is a tall, six foot three, 180 pound quarterback. Receives a snap, fakes it to Luck, he throws to the outside, it's tipped by the Warriors, and it's incomplete. Dangerous pass there, tipped up in the air, but luckily for the Maroons, it fell to the ground. So it'll be second down and 10 now for Clinton. As we've got 6-11 left to go here in the first half. Clinton trying to get a touchdown here to reduce this deficit, cut this lead in half. Tuscola's leading 14 to nothing here. Midway through the second quarter. Carter again in the shotgun. Been in the shotgun all night for the Maroons. There's the give to Luck. He's got room to run and he plows up the middle. He picks up about six yards on the carry, gets down to about the 14-yard line. That's going to be third down and four. That's the best carry of the night for Luck. Luck has 15 yards rushing so far this evening. And it is third down and three for the Maroons. A huge play here on the Warrior 13-yard line. Clinton trying to get a first down, get closer to that end zone. The quarterback turns to the outside, and he is brought down. Tried to roll him out to the outside for a quick pass, but the Tuscola defense got great penetration. Carter had nowhere to go. The quarterback, Nick Bates, burst through the line and brought down the Clinton quarterback. And a huge play as Clinton was set up at third and short. And now they're fourth and long. So we'll see what they draw up here on fourth and long with quarterback Bo Carter. He's looking to the line of scrimmage, waiting for the play to come in. We're under five minutes now here to go in the first half in Tuscola. Carter awaiting the snap. Luck in the backfield. Carter drops back to throw, looking to throw. He's got a man open, but he stumbles. He was looking for number six there, Mason Dial, but he stumbled and unable to get to the ball. In the vicinity for the Warriors was number seven, Tyler Hale. But the ball falls to the ground, and Clinton is unable to score after getting the turnover. The big punt snap over the head of the Tuscola Warrior punter, but the Clinton Ruins unable to convert, so the Tuscola offense comes back on the field with their 14-0 lead. Nick Bates in at quarterback in the shotgun again. He's going to run straight up the middle. He's going to run forward for about four yards before he's brought down. Bates has 27 yards now with that play of running quick up the middle. 4.20 to go here in the first half. Tuscola leading Clinton 14 to nothing. Second down and six. Bates receives it, pitches to the outside, looking for some room to run out there, and he found it. He takes the corner, a nice bit of running there by the Tuscola running back, Cole Evans. 
he hit that corner and was able to come forward for about 14 yards on the carry. First down and 10 for Tuscola now as they're looking to put another drive together before we run out of time here in the first half. So that'll be first and 10. Ball at the 44-yard line. Bates in the shotgun, receives a snap. He's going to run right up the middle again. The Clinton defense stops him after a gain of about two or three. Brought down there by number 49 of the Maroons. That's Caleb Luck, of course, the big fullback. Lucas Kraft in on the tackle as well for the Maroons. Now second down and seven now. Bates receives a snap. He's looking to run up the middle again. He makes a quick cut. Able to hold on and make the tackle there. Number 34 this time for the Maroons. It's Dalton Witted. That's going to be about another three yards. So now we've got a third down and four for the Warriors. Third down and four. Bates in the shotgun. Receives a snap. Looking to throw to the outside. He has a man open, but he overthrows him. Looking for Tristan Williams there on the outside. And too high once again by the quarterback, Nick Bates. So that'll bring up a fourth down and four. Be interesting to see if the Warriors think about going for it here as they're right about midfield in the, in the area where you might think about going for it. Also an area you might look for a fake punt. So 3.01 on the clock, Tuscola lining up the punt. This one makes it to the punter, and he gets it up, and, and they're going to let this one hit the ground, and it's going to be downed by the Warriors about the 26-yard line. So that's where the Maroons will start their next possession, first down and 10. They got two minutes and 52 seconds left here in the first half to try to put a drive together and get some points on the board. Trailing 14 to nothing to the Tuscola Warriors. So the quarterback, Bo Carter, will bring the offense back out on the field. And we'll see what they draw up here on the offensive side of the ball here with under three minutes left to go here in the first half. Carter again in the shotgun, Caleb Luck in the backfield. Got four wide receivers, two on each side. Carter throws and it's intercepted again by the Warriors. This time it's Nick Bates. He's looking for the end zone and he's going to score as well. A quick pass by Bo Carter, but it's intercepted by number 10, Nick Bates. It's the Bates show tonight here in Tuscola so far as Nick Bates, the quarterback, picks that one off and runs it in for a score. Earlier it was Zach Bates picking one off and running it in for the score. And Zach Bates also scored the first touchdown of the night on a pass from Nick Bates. So 2.45 left to go here in the first half. Tuscola now looking to kick the extra point after going in for their second interception return for a touchdown on the night. Kicker lines up. The kick is up and it is good. Evan Sutton, the kicker for the Warriors, puts it through. And with 2.45 left to go here in Tuscola, the Warriors have just extended their lead to 21 to nothing. We'll be right back after this short break on hssportslive.net. And we're back here in Tuscola as Tuscola is kicking off after running the interception back for a touchdown. It's received by the Maroons. A nice little juke move there for a second. 
by the Maroons. Looked like he might have been able to make a move and get to the outside, but Tuscola recovers and makes the tackle there. Tyler Vidmar trying to make a move and make a big play for the Maroons. Clinton trailing 21 to nothing here with 2.39 left to go here in the first half. The Maroon defense has actually done a very good job tonight of keeping this Tuscola offense under wraps. But unfortunately, on the offensive side of the ball, the Tuscola defense has stepped up big, intercepting two passes and returning them both for touchdowns. So first and 10 for the Clinton Maroons on their own 23-yard line. Bo Carter in the back, waiting the snap. He hands it up the middle, and I believe that's Austin, or Mason Dial, I'm sorry. Mason Dial again on the carry. Tyler Vidmar, I'm sorry. New running back in there for the Maroons. I haven't seen him carry the ball yet tonight. He's the guy who's normally back receiving the kicks and the punts for the Maroons. They had him back in there as running back this time. So now as we're approaching two minutes to go, a loss of two yards on the play. So it's second down and 12 for the Maroons. Thank you again for joining us tonight here in Tuscola. Homecoming night for the Warriors. Carter receives the snap, throws it to the outside, and he catches it. A nice little move there by the receiver. Then he's brought down after a gain of maybe three or four yards. Jacob Overton on the catch. He caught it, and he was surrounded by defenders, but he was still able to run away and get at least a few yards on the play. It looked like he might have had nothing. And it looks like a timeout by the Warriors with a minute 47 left to go here in the first half. Tuscola obviously looking to stop the clock so they can possibly get the ball back and put some more points on the scoreboard before we hit halftime. Again, if you're just joining us, we are in Tuscola for the Tuscola Warrior Clinton Maroon Ball Game, week three of the Illinois high school football season. I am Chris Foster. Thank you for joining us tonight here on hssportslive.net. With me tonight is Rob Woods and Taylor Dorsey running my camera. Next week we will be in Tolono for the Moroa Forsyth Tolono Unity football game. This ball game started off with a 60 yard drive by the Warriors about midway through the first quarter. That ended in a touchdown pass from Nick Bates to Zach Bates. Other than that, all the scoring's been on the defensive side of the ball as Zach Bates intercepted a pass and ran it back for a touchdown of about 25 yards. And then Nick Bates intercepted a pass and ran it back for a touchdown for about 20 yards. So that's where we stand here with a minute 47 left to go here in the first half. Clinton trailing 21 to nothing. Hoping to get something going here on offense, but they have a third down and 13 here. The Tuscola Warrior defense looking to make another play right here to get their offense back on the field. The quarterback rolls to the outside looking to throw. Can't find anybody and cannot find anybody. He's going to be brought down. Brought down by number 51 of the Warriors. That's Steven Gibson as he brought down quarterback Bo Carter. He rolled to the outside, but was unable to find anybody open and maybe end up gaining a yard. But now we have a fourth down and 12. They're on their own 21-yard line. Back deep for Tuscola is Tristan Williams and Josh Knight once again. So they're awaiting the punt. Caleb Luck puts it up in the air, a low line drive kick, and it's re Caught by Williams about midfield, and he makes a couple moves, and now he has found some daylight, breaks a tackle, and he's going to be brought down near the 30-yard line. A good bit of running there by Tristan Williams as he ran right up the middle of the field, shook a couple tacklers, and gained about 30 yards on the return. So first and 10 for the Warriors at the 30-yard line, and they have a minute 26 left on this clock to try to put up some more points before we head into the locker room for halftime. Nick Bates in the shotgun, joined in the backfield by number 34, Cole Evans. Bates looking to throw, he finds a man to the outside, and that is Williams. He makes the catch, breaks some tackles. And he's brought down after a gain. No huddle here by the Warriors. 
But the markers are not moving up the line, so we're waiting for them to mark. But a gain of 10 yards on the play. First down and 10 for the Warriors. Bates receives a snap, throws to the outside, and it's nearly intercepted by the Maroons. The Maroons trying to turn things around and pick one off and run it back themselves. Eli Luge knocked it away, but if he could have caught that, he would have had nothing but daylight between him and about a 70-yard interception return for a touchdown. Nonetheless, a good defensive play by Luge as he was able to step in front of that as he was ready for that pass. So now second and 10 for the Warriors as he, they dodged a bullet there. And now with a minute eight left, looked like a false start on the Warrior offense. So they're going to go back five yards. It'll be second down and 15. Moving the ball back to the 25-yard line. So we sit here with a minute seven left to go here in the first half. Tuscola on top, 21 to nothing. Trying to add more points here before the half. Bates receives the snap, looking to throw. He's looking down the middle of the field. And he finds a man, and he's open. And that is another touchdown for the Warriors. Austin Martin has a very pretty throw by Nick Bates and a nice catch by Martin. A great connection there by the Warriors. And they put up their fourth score of the half as they lead 27 to nothing now here in Tuscola on homecoming night for the Warriors. So the second touchdown pass on the night for Nick Bates. The kick is up and it is good. So 28 to nothing for the Warriors. The 20-yard touchdown pass between Nick Bates and Austin Martin, the first guy not named Bates to score some points tonight. So as we're with, here with about a minute left to go here in the first half, we're going to take a quick break here on hssportslive.net. Welcome back to Tuscola. A very short kick by the Warriors there. Maybe they were trying to catch Clinton off guard and try to recover the kick real quick and maybe put some more points on the board. But we're under a minute now. 59 seconds left to go in the first half. The short kick does give Clinton good field position as they're about the 42, 43 yard line. But they only have 59 seconds to work with. We'll see if they try to be aggressive, if they just try to down the ball and head to the locker room. Quarterback Bo Carter comes out to the huddle now. We'll see if they try to do anything here in the last minute of the ball game. Um, the half, I'm sorry, not the ball game. We still have another half to play here on hssportslive.net. Pass to the outside to Deonta Johnson. He makes a nice move and gets about nine yards. So a quick pass to the outside. Looks like a late flag. We'll see what this is. A lot of late flags tonight. We'll get the signal here from the referees. Looks like an illegal block or a clipping penalty on the Maroons, a 15 yard penalty. Unsportsmanlike conduct is the official call. And that'll put them back now to the 36-yard line. So after picking up 10 yards and maybe thinking in the last minute they'd try to put some plays together to move downfield, now further back down the field we'll see how aggressive Clinton decides to be here with 52 seconds left to go in the first half. 
the play is, play is blown dead here as the referees are now getting together in a huddle here to try to figure out what's going on. You know if it's a clock issue or if they haven't spotted the ball right. That looks like they're just trying to make sure we have the right down. It is second down. They had it marked first down there on the edge. But evidently the penalty came after the play. So we are on second down. Second down and 15 for the Maroons. Carter receives a snap, throws to the outside again, and this time it's incomplete. Ooh. I did hear a whistle blow. It's very close to being a backward pass, but the referees blew the whistle, so it was a forward pass. That was a backward pass. That means it's a live ball. Tuscola could have picked that ball up. So they were looking outside there for Mason Dial, but he overthrew him just a little bit. So now third down and 15 for Clinton. 49 seconds on the clock here. Bo Carter in the shotgun, ready to receive the snap. He's got it. The give is to the wide receiver coming across in motion. He's going to be brought down. Look like Jacob Overton on the carry. We'll see where, what he ended up gaining on that, maybe three or four yards. Looks like he gained three yards, and evidently he did get out of bounds, so the clock does stop. So that leaves still 43 seconds on the clock. Still enough time possibly for Tuscola to do something with the ball when they get it back. Caleb Luck back again here to punt for the Maroons. Again back for the Warriors is Josh Knight and Tristan Williams. Williams had a nice return in the last punt. There's the kick by Luck. It's a short kick. It bounces straight up in the air. Tuscola is going to get away from it, and it's going to be down at the 33-yard line by the Maroons special teams. <clears throat> First one down there to touch it for the Maroons is number 64, or 54, I'm sorry, 54, Trevor Stevens. So now 34 seconds on our clock here in Tuscola. 34 seconds left to go here in the first half. Tuscola 28, Clinton, Clinton 0. Tuscola has two touchdown passes from Nick Bates and two interceptions returned for touchdowns. One by Nick Bates and one by Zach Bates. So we move the ball back to the 28-24 yard line of the Warriors. Evidently a penalty there that I missed, I'm sorry, on Tuscola. So we got 34 seconds left to play out here in Tuscola on the first half. Bates is again in the shotgun. Back to pass, looking to throw. He's looking up the middle of the field, and it is caught. A nice catch. Tristan Williams on the reception. That's two nice passes in a row here by Bates. Seemed to be struggling a little bit earlier in the game as he had several overthrows, but he seems to be getting locked in here late in the second quarter. Receives a snap, looking downfield again, and he's going to go deep. He's looking deep on the outside, and he has a man, and it is just missed. He was looking for Josh Knight on the outside and they just missed connecting with each other. So Tuscola not being shy here in the last few seconds of the first half, they're looking to add more points on the board. 17 seconds now on the clock, Tuscola leading Clinton 28 to zero. Second down and 10 now for the Warriors after they took the shot down the field. Bates receives the snap, looking to throw. Looking to throw, he's looking deep again, down the field. This one's for Williams, but it's going to be nearly intercepted right off the hands of Josh Hickman. He's a 5'8", 135-pound junior. Hickman was there for the interception, but he was just able to bat it down to the ground. Tuscola looking deep again for the second play in a row. This time it was Tristan Williams they were looking to hit. So now we've got third down and 10 and 11 seconds to go here in the first half. Bates gives a step. This time he hands it off, and he's hit right up the middle. Cole Evans on the carry, but a good job by the Clinton defense. Tuscola thought maybe they were going to be a little sneaky to sneak in that play. But that's the end of the first half here in Tuscola. It's the Tuscola Warriors 28, the Clinton Maroons 0. As we head to the locker room, 
We'll be back in about 10 minutes here on HSSportsLive.net.